West Indies v England Essential win lifts World Cup gloom The reaction of England's players after they wrapped up victory in the second test against West Indies said it all. It was almost reminiscent of the scenes after an Ashes win, pulling up stumps, hugging each other, running to celebrate with the spectators who had come so far to support them. I could feel the joy and relief from where I was sitting three floors up in the commentary box. This was an important win for Alastair Cook's men. It was absolutely essential to change the mood around the team after their disastrous performance at the World Cup. They took a real hiding in Australia and New Zealand and that clouded a lot of opinion. Their recent test record isn't actually that bad, but they hadn't managed an away win in this format of the game since beating India at Golkata in December 2012. So to get over the line in a grueling test match like this will give the team a huge amount of satisfaction. Victories like this, achieved on a slow, lifeless pitch, are often the best, because they require moments of real brilliance. That was provided by James Anderson in the morning session. To have a hand in all six wickets taken was simply remarkable. It was one of the outstanding individual performances I've seen from an England cricketer. It was started by a magnificent delivery to dismiss the West Indies century and Craig Brathwaite. To get the ball to kick on an unresponsive pitch like this doesn't happen by accident. It's class. It's rhythm. It's a snap of the wrist. He had no right to produce a ball like that on this pitch, but that is what sets a bowler of Anderson's caliber apart. There are plenty of reasons for optimism heading into the third test in Barbados, where England will be determined to go to zero up in the final game of the series, but there are still one or two areas that need to be looked at. I remain concerned about Jonathan Trott at T.